Hello guys, how are you? Our topic for today is about uh, a uh, basic custom project that will create a car rescue up. What is a car rescue up? This is how you salvage those uh, trouble vehicles in the road. And uh, of course, I have here a ready-made program. I wrote this uh, yesterday. Uh, this is part of my JavaScript, uh, what you call this template, wherein we, we can allocate the coordinates of those trouble cars in the road. So how will you do that? So we have the latitude and longitude. And we're using here the, the Google uh, API, application program interface. And uh, well, you can check the latitude, latitude by choosing this uh, website. For example, I have here the location for La Paz Plaza. I will click, of course, the latitude here. Okay. And then, of course, I will paste it here. And then we have here, of course, the longitude. Okay. All right. That's it. Now, if I click this map, automatically this will create, you know, the locations of uh, a particular place for in I would like to, uh, to check. So in this case, uh, we will create a prototyping also in Java to simulate this kind of application. Prototype is very important. Uh, that's how you map your goals in your capstone project or in your, in your uh, any project or related forces for that in that matter. So we're gonna start with our program here in uh, uh, Java to create our own uh, basic uh, uh, car rescue app. Okay, let us proceed here. Okay, I will type Google and then online Java compiler. Okay, I'll be using here for the Java JDoodle. Now, in your case, but of course, I'm using the online uh, uh, IDE. This is to uh, fasten and fasten, or this is to hasten, hasten my work for prototyping, and this is quite uh, uh, comfortable to be. But in other in other way around, if you want to uh, uh, to uh, to create a, a serious type of application, then you can use the Sublime Editor, and then you can use, of course, your um, what you this? You can use your uh, Java and uh, what you could use in Java uh, compiler using the uh, CLI or the command line interpreter. Okay, so let us clear the screen. Now, um, we'll go back here. Okay, this is a quick prototyping in Java. Number one is what is all algorithm here. Number one is, of course, we need to what? Uh, invoke. No, no. We need to uh, ask the user, ask the car owner to enter the lot and the lock and the long. Okay, number two, what's next? Well, we need to, of course, we need to uh, provide the location. So this is just like a simulation. So we can put the location in the list or inside the array, or maybe a static, what you call list, uh, or a static uh, information for, information for a shop or a battery shop. Oh, okay. And then, of course, these uh, shops will be notified later on, but we, don't have the cardinal right now really to, to fuse and of course to uh, uh, put the Google map here because this is part of the prototyping and this is where we uh, instigate our ideas how to come up with you know a, a project for a uh, car uh, rescue or car rescue up okay now let us write a program here import and then we have to invoke of course the Java Java that you till now this is a text based type of program later on well of course in our next um, video will convert this to a uh, you know to a uh, graphical user interface uh, type of uh, codes okay so we have here public and oh sorry it's public class okay so we have your public class at the same time we share here car rescue okay all right so what's next so we will put here of course uh well if this is your first time to uh to watch this video because this is part of the <laughs> a prototyping for an it capstone project then you can also check my my YouTube channel. All right, so public, static, void, main, and then we have your swing, ARGS, of course, we're gonna have to put, of course, the open close parenthesis because now, instantiate, or of course, create our object right here for scanner. So we have scanner input, and then you, you can put your own object right here, and then you, oops, scanner, and then put the system that in, this is two, uh, this is for the input, okay? Okay, what's next? So we have to ask the user, and uh, well, uh, we don't have any what you call this validity here for the latitude. latitude. This is just, just like a simulation example. So system out the print line. Then we have to enter what lat and long. Okay. So next is of course we bring down this input at the, uh, after this statement, and we will uh, declare a variable. What's that variable here? Because this is a number, so we need to put interrupt at shop type. Then, 
you can use your any variable here okay any variable all right and then of course uh, i've finished this part okay i forgot spring and then we have the spring location equals to what scanner now input dot next this is the method and this is the object for for uh, for 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 this for this class because scanner is part of the class next line so we're going to input of course the spring here converting it to the spring and of course we need to uh check of course the uh the next inputs okay so we have to use system that out that print line okay then which we will enter of course the shop which shop okay so we have of course the battery shop we have the automobile mobile shop this is part well of course you can uh, add this later on as part of your preferences and then we have to interrupt of course so you declare of course the type of shop or shop type okay all right and then we need to scanner and then next what next it okay this is where we enter the long in the lot right at the same time we have here the type of the shop all right so we need to declare of course the shop what is the shop so we need to use the string here, here string and then there is shop okay so what will happen is we're gonna create here first the validation all right so if shop okay if shop type remember we have with the shop type at the top shop type equals equals to one all right if you type one what will happen this is part of the selection okay so we need to uh now uh bring down this new shop because it's part of the string knee rest okay shop equals two all right we give put here first this is where we create now for the agreement for the function okay so get uh near uh nearest okay get nearest watch uh car shop so that it will be more intuitive to all of us to type it location okay. so what does this mean well of course we have here the uh we have here of course the variable for the shop type and then if you type if you choose one automatically of course this will uh, create you know in uh, this will call a function if all comment a function here here okay here is the function for location with one parameter all right so what will happen is of course else all right let us put it down so that we could have a better look a beautiful uh, a, 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 a intuitive look or maybe we can use what okay bring this down nearest okay copy here i don't want to uh, commit any what you call this uh a misspelled <laughs> uh statement so i will get of course another here get nearest what battery shop battery shop and then of course we have here the parameter of location all right that's it and after that what will happen of course we need to finish it here because this is where the end of if end of if else oh sorry statement all right that's it and then after what will happen so we can proceed to the next part okay so that's the time that we need now to uh put of course the uh, procedure here so we need to notify uh the the shops by the nearby okay so here in this in this is very cross shop okay include now the apis for you for sms that is the purpose of prototyping that's how you map your goals here or maybe uh fuse the apis for maps okay for example google map all right okay now next part is of course this because this is where we need to find them well we just put here for system that output lead okay noti for example we are notifying the okay let's nearby shop okay that's it and then what's next so we have to uh go to the next bar and then what happened here is of course we need to include of course the two methods so since this is a class uh since this, this is a java programming we can include the private uh, private modifier so that it will be read only in a, a particular class let's say private let's say why private because well of course we need to uh to this uh, uh this code uh, uh that, that i mean 
we have the private and public and post protect for the purifier but this one is this code will run in this class okay only only okay, correct me if i'm wrong string and then we have here the purifier post public private static string and then we need to bring this one okay this is where we get force invoke the methods okay a while ago so car string and then what will happen is since we have here the string let us declare the location okay now we check my uh let's check my uh my what you call this let's check my uh java tutorial now we can say return so if for example now you can now put here we can put here of course the this is crucial why uh you can uh, put uh, all of course the information right here make me you can create the list for uh, the nearby uh crush application or maybe you can filter it okay so let us continue okay uh here we of course we can use the return statement right? because we have the parameters at the top return and then we can say this is car shop so we turn what let's say car shop one okay plus we can say okay so this is where we concatenate it it's like of course now part of the prototyping car shop two all right so this is where we start it here let's get the nearest car shop so this is where we would force the nearest car shop at the top string nearest car shop at the same time we have here the get nearest car shop all right this is the functions or the method now let the, the next step is of course get the nearest battery shop okay so what will happen is the same thing okay we're gonna what you call this um create okay a private string here a private uh, static string what then put of course the get nearest battery shop and then we have here string what of course the string location same thing okay this is the one of the nice thing in uh using the oop object oriented programming and then of course we need to uh, follow the statement at the top so i'm just putting a first example but of course now later on uh, as you go along with your uh, project you can improve this using the api and the uh, api is part of i think uh well that's part of your advanced programming subject in Java. And then let us replace this with battery the battery shop one plus battery shop two. Oh okay. wait. Battery shop two. Battery shop one and battery shop two. Okay, shop two. Now we are almost done with our prototyping. And this is where we end our code here. Of course, this is where we end of course our end of class code here here. End of class. Alright, so let us check our code. Alright, let us run this again and then um let us uh, <laughs> check if there are some errors in our program i think there are some errors there are some errors or errors in our program so we have cannot find symbol scanner no this is not scanner sorry i'm thinking about scanner because that's the most common name of this program so this is not scanner and this is what part of the input okay and this is the method sorry about that oops now we just run again now if you saw the error if you see this error of course though, please relax and calm be calm and uh this is how you uh you uh provide uh, you know not change at the back of your head so that you can be sharp more in programming okay let us run again the code enter long and not will force let us say ooh, anything okay that's the only example which shop i will say one not even the nearby shop okay so we have here not to need to find the nearby shop so if we type one here okay if we type one what will happen is of course the top nearest get nearest shop car location okay so we have here Notify the nearby shop. Well, we did not uh, see any results here. I want to check the result. If I type one, this will come out. Car shop one or car shop two. Okay, let us check it again. There's something wrong with this code, and uh, well, of course, let us execute it again. Okay, we enter the lot. For example, this is the law, and then we have winter with shop. So that's one. So I think uh, notifying the nearby shop. So we have the variable right here at the top. So the shop because get the shop. So we have the right correct statement from here. Oh, of course, this one. We have to put the colon. Then we have here, of course, the plus. And then we involve here, of course, the nearest shop. This is where we fetch the information from these uh, methods. Okay. So let us start it again right here. So nearest shop. This is where we assign, of course, this method with the parameter of one shop right here. We turn the string plus plus car shop to well. Of course, you can provide later on. Well, if you have the API or the maps, you can put it right here or you can put it inside the list. All right. Now we again are uh, execute the program. So this is part of simulations of the projects. We have the look and the lat and then okay, this is not a serious thing, but again, this is where we provide the look in the lat so that we can notify the the thereby what you call this uh, battery car shop and of course the car shop okay now 
I will put one here. So, well, we have here notified anybody by shop, uh, shop, car shop one and car shop two. Just imagine, well, if this car shop one and car shop two will be displayed right here. Yes. And, uh, well, as, uh, you know, as, uh, as, as a shop or a battery shop, well, if I receive your notification, I can immediately salvage your car right here. So, this is part of the prototyping where we uh, first map the algorithm and force a uh, review, of course, the statements for your Java programming. And the logic here is to uh, locate the nearby shops and provide the notifications. You can use value or maybe other means of uh, API for SMS. Okay, now what if we will uh, list some of the shops right here, except of using here? We can use like string, let's say string. Okay, let us make it bigger. String, let's say we have here car, shop, and then let us create a list or an array. So we have here, uh, let's say, ABC car shop, uh, ABC, uh, car shop one, sorry. And then we have here car shop two, okay, this is generic. And then we have car shop three, okay. Okay. And then at the same time, uh, we will also create and return, of course, the value of the car and return car shop, all right. Our priority list is, of course, the first index of the element. <laughs> Later on, well, of course, now you can play with it by using, of course, the random functions, methods of Java. Same thing right here. No? I mean, we will, this will serve as our, um, you know, uh, match for the location and, of course, it serves as a parameter. And then, let's say, we will copy this, but we chase only the variable. Okay, so instance variable, <laughs> rather. So, we have here the battery shop. Okay, battery shop. Okay, battery shop. And then we will put here the battery shop instead of using the return value for the car shop, we'll instigate what bot shop. Okay. Now this is the code. Okay, let us um, you know wrap up what we have discussed. Well, um, this is part of prototyping, and uh, you create first the prototype before you uh, you know you, uh, you 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 do the, the actual project because that's how you uh, do the development stage. Um, test it or deploy it and force find the glitches so that you can perfect the program. So here, well, of course, uh, it's very simple. It's no brainer. But again, of course, the logic is quite uh, uh, cool. And uh, later on, maybe in uh, your Java prototyping, you can now uh, instigate more program for that code, okay? By using, of course, the API application program interface for your maps, just like the Google Maps. And here we can, um, you know, if you have here, of course, the the APIs of those uh, Google Maps and the other maps. So you can, uh, you know, uh, notify the nearby use shops right here using that value, okay? And you can include the API support really for SMS or if you use the office for Maps Google, no? And uh, after that, well, instead of, uh, this is just like simulation, instead of displaying the nearest shop, well, you can display it just like this uh, actual map. This is part of the visualization, okay? So we only uh, change, of course, the function here, the content function by just putting all those lists inside the shops car shops and of course the battery shops inside here so instead of using the car shop we have the battery shop one sorry we have the battery shop two battery shop two and battery shop three okay so but that's all for now thanks so much for watching and uh, i hope you learned from this uh, uh lesson and uh, please don't forget to share and subscribe in this channel more power